But hey, fuckers, welcome back to the Football Manager 2017 Old Firm Revival. This is episode 15, and uh, it's going to be a big one. Well, I don't know, actually, it might be pretty meaningless. It's our last Champions League game. We're three points behind Olympic Akos. Now, we play Man City. If we beat Man City and Olympic Akos lose, we will go level one points. Now, I'm not sure if goal difference is a factor this, uh, in this year's Champions League. It may go on head-to-head, so we may already be totally out of uh, Europe altogether now, but I-, I don't quite know how it works, so what we're going to do is we're just going to give it our best, try and win, hope that Olympiacos lose, and pray that the rules are in our favour. Also, we've got a home match with Rangers in the league against Hearts, it's Telefy, so, so we should be getting a wee bit of extra money in with that, so I thought we'll uh, play that game as well too. Yeah man, two games in this episode, so don't say I don't cheat you. And then um, just some quick stats here before we get fired into the games. Look at this, most goals scored in the Champions League. We're the highest scoring team, albeit we probably played the most rounds of any team that's still in it. Because I think every team that's in the group stage probably didn't have to play as many rounds as us. But we've played 11 matches and we've scored 31 goals. You can't argue with that. Ajax have 21 goals in 10 matches and uh, so on. So you can see we're definitely uh, firing on all cylinders. Your similar stats that are really um, not necessary. So that's it. We've, we'll go and select the team here. Last time against Man City, we drew. Hopefully, we can get. Oh shit, man. <laughs> Before we get stuck into this game, fuck, I'll give a wee roundup. So the last time we were here, we um, we lost to Olympiacos. And um, yeah, well, since then, we've played two league games. And look at that. A home game against St. Johnson, we drew. And an away game against Motherwell, we also drew. So, you know, two games where we were the better team. We did create the most chances, but we weren't able to win. So, um, no, sorry, last time out, we won the Bet Fed Cup, which was good against Dundee. But since then, we've had two draws in the league. We're still undefeated in the league, but, um, you know, it's, it's, it, we've uh, fallen down a bit, like our... Our gap that we had at the top is certainly not as big as it once was. So, have a quick look at how we're doing with Rangers. Rangers actually have been pretty good form. Um, Rangers fixtures. Last time we were here playing, uh, we lost to Partick Thistle, if you can remember, in the league. Before then, we'd won four on a bounce. The four on the bounce, we were undefeated in nine, I believe. Yeah, we are undefeated in nine. We'd won four in the bounce, then we lost, but we've uh, fired back with two back-to-back wins against Hearts and Aberdeen, two of the best teams in Scotland, defeating them while keeping clean sheets. So I'm very impressed with Rangers at the moment. Um, we've got Red- Ross are out injured at the moment, but uh, suspended even for the next game, but hopefully we'll be able to survive without them. So uh, next game against Hearts, hopefully we, we can win that. And uh, you can see in the league now, we've now moved up to second, albeit we'll play the game extra over Partick Thistle. Only three points behind Celtic, we only have two games in hand, but you never know, uh, we're expecting Celtic to run away with the league this season, but perhaps not, maybe Rangers can challenge after all. Or even Partick Thistle, who, you know, I mean, we can't really count them out, they're just, they're, they're, technically they should be in front of us after they play their game in hand. So, um, yeah, maybe the SPL isn't over. Ladbrokes Premiership could just be heating up. Who knows, but I think Rangers, Partick Thistle will need Celtic to start losing if they're going to have any chance. For this uh, Man City game, we've got Scott Brown suspended, so we're going to try and bring in, who could we bring in? Scott Armstrong, perhaps? I'm going to go for the win here, so the more attacking players, the better. We'll play Rogic there. Um, Betton plays a Halfback. Rogic's deep line play midfielder. Um, Armstrong, yeah, yeah, so there you go. Is Mr. Dembele ready to come back? I don't know, Lee Griffiths hasn't been fired. Lee Griffiths has been playing really poor, actually, as of late. So, yeah, I'm going to start Musa Dembele up front for this. And who's going to be the back for? Let me see. Lustig's actually been playing pretty well. Sevichenko. Simifich has been playing good. I think we're going to bring him in. Effie Ambrose, I can't really say no to this guy, he's been he's been really good for us and that's probably going to, we'll bring in Lustig and I think we'll take out Bailey, we gave him a game in the league last time even though the freeze has been shit, I don't know, should we play Bailey? 
you know what, fuck it, we'll give Bailey a chance. I mean, De Vries is basically the guy that's cost us this year in the Champions League, so uh, yeah, why not give the opportunity to Bailey? Oh, because he's not registered, that's why. <laughs> Fucking hell. Ah, yeah, so there you go, we'll just uh, put in the face then. The face, you're lucky that we didn't register anyone else. You're lucky that I'm fucking dumb and only registered one. Well, I do have uh, Craig Gordon registered. You see, he's just not ready to come back yet. But maybe for our next game, we'll have Craig Gordon back, which will be a huge uh, positive for us because this De Vries guy just doesn't really cut it. Certainly not good enough. Not good, and we'll need to get a better backup keeper. Or maybe even a Craig Gordon is getting pretty old. Maybe we could even look for a new uh, first team keeper. Whether we'll bring someone in January, I don't know. I mean, if we're out of Europe, I don't really see the point. I think we could just get the season over and done with, and then try and build for next season. Um, predictions is going to be a draw here, but Man City are obviously favourite with the bookmakers, which you would expect, obviously. Um, now Britain, I know I can rely on him. And uh, yeah, so there you can see the Man City team of Aguero, Silver, Sane, De Bruyne, Gudugan, Fernandinho, Gliche, Otamendi, Company, Stones, and Stones playing at right back. Hmm. Stones playing at right back. Bravo and Nets. Uh, stones closing down always. I'm going to always close down Stones. I'm going to always close down Bravo. I think there's mistakes from those two. So, um, yeah, fuck it, why not? Um, passionate. Show everyone what we can do. Hopefully we go out and we do well. And there we go, Dembele gets us kicked off. Match underway. And all we need to do now is wait and just hope for the best. 34% <laughs> possession, though that's not the best. It's up to 40 now. And there you go, Robert Lewandowski, 1-0. He didn't wait long. <laughs> See, we actually have better goal difference than Olympiacos, so if it goes in goal difference and we can get a win here, then we will finish third, but I'm pretty sure it goes in head to head, which is pretty, uh, that's, that's shite if, if the case. I mean, very disappointing. So you've got uh, David Silva appears to have a slight injury here, and Aguero doesn't seem to be fully fit, so strange one there. Looks like it's snowing. What the fuck's that? Off the post there, uh, De Vries just giving me a mini heart attack. This guy's certainly not good enough. We need Craig Gordon back ASAP. Hopefully we'll be back for the next match. It's a shame we were without him for the Champions League campaign because there was a shitload of goals that I think he would have saved that the freeze obviously didn't. And that may as well cost us in this competition. So anyway, half an hour approaching. Still nil no. I mean, we're in with a chance. Sergio Guerrero's just been caught offside. I mean, if he wants to keep getting caught offside, I'll settle for that. We had the one shot. We're fucking Musa Dembele's been caught offside. And there you go, Bayern Munich 2 0 over the Greeks. So uh, I'm pretty much getting slaughtered, man. It's like fucking Hitler and the, the Jews, man. Bayern Munich just running through them like hot knife through butter, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we're approaching half time now. It's Silver, Aguero, both of them low 60s here. Both of them pretty much fucked. Hopefully they stay on and they shouldn't really cause as much problems if their condition's ruined. Uh, there's Tom Rogic picking up a yellow card. And there you go, there's half time. Um, we've not been good to be honest. I'm gonna be a bit aggressive. And uh, they seem fired up, so you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna go and attack. I'm mental, man. I'm gonna go for it. Fuck it. <laughs> Probably get beat about 10 0 now, but I've got to take chances in life. And now Man City get the second half underway. Don't know how quite how them I uh, know, I don't know, I was gonna say maybe if Olympiacos won and we beat Man City or so there's a way they could go through. <clears throat> Considering how badly their goal difference is, I doubt it, but I mean you never know. Sergio Aguero caught offside again. What the what the fuck? What is he doing? David Silver's been taking off for Nolito. And now we have a highlight, it's Bravo, big punt upfield. Can we win this? 
Tierney with the headers, down by Gundogan to Sane, Leroy Sane, or Sani, whatever the fuck you want to call him. It's Sani. Oh, and a great challenge here for Kieran Tierney. Come on now, run. Kieran finds Roberts. Patrick Roberts now looking to the man on loan for City. It's Rogic out to Lustig. Lustig to Roberts. Come on, Roberts. Armstrong. Rogic. Oh, he's tried to find the ball through to Dembele. It's been cleared, though. It's Armstrong now picking it up. Plays it through to Sinclair. Scott Sinclair, the former Man City man. Plays through Musa Dembele. What a goal! He's done it! Musa Dembele scores 17th goal of the season. He puts us 1-0 up against Manchester Shetty. They've got all the money in the world, man, but it doesn't buy passion. It doesn't buy heart, and that's what's put us 1-0 up in front here. Musa Dembele, they it for Celtic, and this is looking good, man. All we need to do now is hold on for another 32 minutes. Easier said than done, and shit, here comes Gabriel Jesus coming on, and um, maybe we should go off attacking. I'm not quite sure. Do we want to... What are we playing like at the moment? Let me see. We're playing all right. I mean, ah, oh, fuck. There's a f highlight here to Man City. It's... If we can get away with this foot conceding, I'm definitely going to maybe put it on counter. But if they score, may as well just keep on attacking. Oh, no. No, fuck off. Fuck off. Ah. Any chance in offside? No. It's his first goal of the season. Very poor from Gundogan, actually. You'd expect him to have a lot more than that. Well, there you go. Um, Looks like maybe we're not going to win. Got a bit ahead of ourselves there. 20 minutes to go. I think it may be time to make s some substitutions. I don't know if we want to bring a bunch on. We've got James McLean, who, to be honest, has been a poor signing. I think I just kind of Rangers and shit like that, but I kind of regret signing them. I might actually try and offload him in January or in the summer. He is the highest paid player at the club as well, which I don't think he deserves. So, I mean, maybe if I can get my five million back from him, he would be someone I definitely would like to get rid of. He could be like the, our Joey Barton, you know, we're like, fuck it, no, you're not good enough, we're going to get rid of you. Or you don't want to be here, you can fuck off something along those lines. Uh, we've got Lee Griffiths on the bench who could come on, but I don't really want to take off... Um, I don't want to take off what's his face just yet. We could, um. Well, we're going to bring on a buoy. And Patrick Roberts is not having a great game, is he? Right, we'll bring on James McLean for Patrick Roberts. And then Lee Griffiths can come on later and try and snatch as a win. The way he's playing at the moment, I don't think he's going to snatch. Fuck all, like, probably snatch his leg and break it or something. But in terms of goals. Probably not going to come. But all we can do is hope. Like, we've got it on attacking. As the time ticks down, we may as well go for it. A draw doesn't really do anything. At least if we win, worst case scenario is we're getting a win over Man City and the coefficient's going up slightly, you know, due to the win. So, I mean, definitely may as well go for this. There's no point holding back. Um, do we bring on Lee Griffiths now? I think we might. Dembele's just been caught offside again. And I'm going to bring on Lee Griffiths now for... I'm going to bring him on for Sinclair, I think. And then... We'll play him as a shadow striker. So there you go. Lee Griffiths now playing as a shadow striker. Um, should I go overload? I think I will. Fuck it. Get everybody forward. Six minutes to go and uh, not a lot happening. Doesn't look like we're going to get the win. There is a highlight though. It's Sagna. Man City currently on the ball. Still Sagna. It's, oh, it's Ambrose headed away. And uh, we couldn't get a chance. Oh no, it's Aguero. It's Aguero. Fucking shit shot for Aguero. That's terrible. Don't care if he's got like 54% condition, man. He should be scoring that way. You know, both eyes fucking closed. In the eyes. Oh, what a chance. Come on, corner kicks in clear. Oh, what a goal we've done. I don't actually fucking believe it. Right, get this overload pish off. What? Oh, you piece of shit referee, you fucking cunt. What do you mean handball? If it's a handball for Aguero, then we should... Get a penalty. Just been fucking robbed here for this shite bag of a referee. Look at the stadium. Where is he? Fucking pricking red. I'll smash him. I'll be the I'll be a red fucking blood stained shirt in a minute. Like when when I get 
under this uh, when I get done with this team talk. That's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I mean, fuck, that's just a joke. I want to know what the fuck. I don't care if um, you for finance or something like. I'm I'm getting stuck into that referee here in this post match press conference. Why that goal was disallowed, I don't know. And then apparently it was a handball. So if it's a handball, it should be apparently to us, but. Referee just shat on us. I mean, uh, unbelievable. Unfucking believable. Alright, guys, so we're back. The headlines are Man City Rue missed chances, but the headline should be Celtic robbed by cheating cunt to a ref because we scored a perfectly good goal. And why it wasn't, a, why it didn't stand, I don't know. Um. We've received 430k, which is always good, but they're buying Munich one for now. But that is also in Europe now, and I don't know. We've got two draws against Man City, which is kind of similar to Celtic like did in real life. I think they got two draws, didn't they? Um, but. Just not good. I wanted to at least get third in that group, you know, and we didn't. I'm disappointed. That loss to Olympiacos probably is the deciding factor, you know, that's the one that's cost us, really. And it's... It's pretty sad, so uh, we're just going to see how Hearts got on in the Europa League. And if Hearts win, they've got a chance of going through and they would be the only Scottish team remaining in Europe and it would be great if they can go through it will help the coefficient but they need a win and I think they need a good win also need the team in second to lose to Inter Milan which you know could happen Inter Milan have won 5 for 5 so far so there's a possibility of Hearts going through here I think they're against Bait, Krasanoda are the team in second. Don't see the result popping up just yet though. It's keeping us waiting for fuck's sake. Come on. Man United there won 3 0 over Maribor. And it appears to be that it should be um over now, so we'll just continue one bit more and then that should, uh, we'll go and check how they done, so let's go teamwork. Got it there, we didn't beat Man City. Absolutely got it. I don't know why, I just don't know why the goal was disallowed, like, it's fucking unbelievable. There's some players there getting removed from our shortlist. Why? I didn't really ask these guys to get removed. Um, I'm gonna go and have a quick look at them. Hold on here. Um, this guy, let's see. Um, scout report. What position is he anyway? Let me see. See, the, nah, I want this guy. I'm gonna add this guy to the shortlist. Um, this guy, I mean, does look good as well, but whether we can afford him. Don't quite know. Let's see what scout report. Apparently, he would be better than our best player. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna try and get this guy. Sporting are unlikely wanting to sell. No intention of joining our club. On a no intention of joining our club. Ah, uh, so why are we scouting someone with no intention of joining? Our... Um, we'll, we'll add them to the short list. Like, but that other guy, no really any. I can't be arsed with the other guy, to be honest. It's the early expected for this uh, Partick Fissile match. I would, I'd like to remind you that you made a promise to be expecting to be followed, expecting to be start more games. I think I have been pretty, um, you know, fuck, fair with the guy. Anyway, let's quickly do this press conference. Partick Fissile have been in the feel good. Yep, they've been magnificent, great. Alan is showing you don't need to spend a lot of money. Um. Oh, 
Paul. Don't know who this guy is. So. All these fucking questions about jobbers. I have no idea who they are. You know what I mean? Uh, Hearts of Midlovian. Let's see here. Team report. Schedule. Senior squad. Oh, they beat bait 3 1. So, uh. <laughs> what did Inter Milan beat bait though? That is. Let's see how they got on here. So, uh, they're going to be, I know that they're going to be 9 points now. Uh, Krasen. Uh, they actually dominated bait away from home. Krasen were, were on 9 points. So, uh, this could be pretty crucial. We need to find out where the group is. So, report here. Uh, group K, so. Let's go down. I see if Inter Milan, if Inter Milan didn't beat them, then we know it's it's all over. Inter Milan won 4 0. So, um, could Hearts be through? I mean, I think on goal difference they should be. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please. Uh, fuck off. Like, who makes these rules? Look at that. I mean, Hearts have got better goal difference, but they're going fucking out. Why? This is probably some bloody head-to-head -head bullshit. Hold on. Right. Like, Crass and Orbeat Hearts tune up, then Hearts only beat... You... Where's the fucking ah? Where's the rules? Right, rules. No, not the playoffs. The group stage. A donut. Uh, group doesn't matter what group does it. Let's say group K for example. Okay. League sorting. How does that's a joke? Since when does results between no, that's fucking pish. Right, Hearts have been screwed. We were screwed. I mean, we should have beat Man City and we'd have been through as well. We obviously wouldn't have been through on the rules, but we should have been through. Absolute bullshit. You know what I mean? Anyway, guys, be back shortly for the Hearts vs. Rangers game, and that'll be the end of the episode. Uh, just fucking, fucking very disappointing. At least we've done well, and we'll have a quick look at the coefficient as well when I get back. But we should be proud of our performances in Europe. Next season, I think, we'll be looking even better, and uh, we should get Scotland even higher up the um, coefficient. But terrible uh, decisions there, and terrible rules. Fucking, I mean, why does results fucking matter more than goal difference? Bullshit. Alright guys, so we did plan on playing the Hearts Rangers game and I just realised Celtic actually play before them and they also they all uh, they play actually Partick Fist who are currently third so I feel it would be doing a disservice to Partick Fist if I just ignored this match and you know skipped it and played the showing the Rangers Hearts one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually end the episode here and then we'll come back in the next episode it'll be a double header. We'll have the Celtic part uh They'll have the Partick Fistle Celtic game, then we'll have the uh, Rangers Hearts game. Two games in one episode. Ten this, so we're just going to go and have a quick look at the um, coefficients here and see what we're shaping up like after that. And it was an impressive... Uh, it was impressive enough from the Scottish teams this year, but sadly just some rules that I don't agree with may have cost us. So you can see your current... 16 17 coefficient it's a 6.875 which is fucking very good so you see at the moment we're currently 25th but next year our coefficient is going to be a 21.4 which will move us above denmark currently israel currently norway currently sweden currently but you know some of these teams could have a uh, team still in europe so you don't know where we're actually going to be uh belarus Cyprus, Poland, and that is it. So, if everything stays the same at the moment, we're currently going to be moving up to 18th in the coefficient. And let's see what that would actually change for us in terms of qualifying places. Let me see. Well, at the moment, it wouldn't change fuck all, sadly. It probably would, uh, maybe we'd be seeded in a couple of these um, group stage rounds. We might be seeded instead of non seeded. But, it would move us right up to here and then look at that, if we can move up one more spot and we will take Croatia then we'd have a team coming in at Q3 instead of Q1 which would be massive so 
Like, not much, probably nothing's going to change for us next year in terms of how many teams we get in Europe and where we enter in Europe. But the, the year after that, if we have another good year like this year, then uh, you could see big changes, possibly even two teams back in the Champions League. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it this episode. Uh, thanks for watching. Sadly, we're at the Champions League, but um, we know we'll have another go next year, I'm sure. And it uh, looks like we might be in the Europa League with Rangers as well. So next year, Europe should be pretty good. But for this year, Europe is sadly over. Um, looks like we've been kicked. The UK has been kicked out the EU, and now we've been kicked out of Europe. But uh, next next year, guys, don't worry. We'll uh, we'll fight back and we'll we'll get the job done. Still though, lots of domestic trophies and games left to play this season. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later.